Eve to Adam has certainly paid their dues as the Queen's New York band is finally getting their big break with a solid number 25 position on the active rock radio chart with the band's new single, Immortal. The group decided to put their musical fate in the hands of capable others who then slightly reshaped them for their latest effort, Locked and Loaded. One of those skilled in musicianship was Shinedown's Eric Bass, who worked on a few songs with the band, and Eve to Adam's Gurav, Taki, and Alex talk about his involvement. Yeah, they just come off the Uproar Festival, um, and he hadn't written in about nine months. So he was really raring to go, you know, and... Um, he asked he had, us if we wanted to experiment and, you know, uh, kind of expand our horizons. We're like, man, that was one time in college. I don't know what you heard. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind I of experiment. No, that guy I'm experimenting. Uh, Sonic uh, experimentation. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> God. I thought we were past all that. Um, we've been doing this for a while. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, no, that was great because he was like, he had a really great attitude. He had heard our previous record. He knew the single Run Your Mouth from the previous album. He really, he thought that we had enormous potential to go to the next level and he wanted to help us get there. And at this point, we were really ready to try some some new things, you know, and... Sonically. Sonically, and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, um... We were always big. I was a huge fan of Stabbing Westward, Nine Inch Nails, kind of industrial stuff from the '90s, you know. So, um, w you know, he had this start, you know, this the start of a track that that uh, ended up being the, you know, the bedrock for Straight Jacket Supermodel, you know, and had a really kind of cool, eerie kind of Trent Reznor-y kind of thing to it. And I was like, you know, what, this is this is a good place to start something completely different than what we did on the old record, you know. They say he was part of the Killer Bees. So we were able to get to uh, to work with Eric Bass and. Elvis Basquette and Dave Bassett, you know, which we call them the killer bees because it's like the, um, you know, it's the, it's the dream team of production, you know. You're lucky enough to get one guy, but if you can get three, it's unbelievable. So a um, little bit of chemistry, you know, uh, good intention, positive attitude, and we were able to come up with some stuff that we're really proud of and is um, getting a great reaction now, you know. Yeah. Immortal is um, turning into our breakout single, and um, 2014 is shaping up to be the year for Eve Adam. The guys have toured with just about every hard rock band on the planet, and they're hoping to reach a new audience, opening up for Escape the Fate starting in February. They called us. <laughs> People are starting to call us now. <laughs> you know, we'll buy from you. It's like Tommy Boy when yeah. he does the sales pitch. So I can take a crap in a box yeah, and market yeah, guaranteed. guaranteed. You know, for your daughter's sake. Yeah. <laughs> for your daughter's sake, yeah. listen to Locked and Loaded. That's yeah. what we say. He goes, okay. Take the, he took the butcher's word. Escape yeah, the fate. exactly. And they, <laughs> they called us. We'll buy from you, they said. And, and we're going to be there. And we're f***ing excited. And it's going to be young fans and, you know, All ages shows, which and, we've been trying to get yeah. into forever, you know. And um, they're an emerging band with a lot of energy. And, and coming out of an era that's... Um, it's kind of the air is cleared and there's a few left bands standing, left, yeah. you know, and they're one of those bands and they've been through hell. Dates start next month and it looks to be a big 2014 for the band. We'll have more from the On The Bubble band about the struggles of a young hard rock outfit and the complex relationship between brothers Alex and Taki. Stay tuned.